apologize for the very interesting situation that we had yesterday where uh, I was not able to get any of my audio to work. Um, it's, it's been a few months since I've done YouTube video live streaming and uh, unfortunately it shows. So uh, you get to be my test dummies. Um, now this lecture is not going to be as intensive as what I was hoping so please keep in mind I may post another lecture this week. Uh, machine design is in most university settings machine design is a very hard class. Uh, this is not a class where you get a coast and, and do well in the class. Uh, so the fact that we're trying to do this and, and we're trying to do it in a hybrid mode means either I slack on what I expect of you uh, or you guys have to put in the work. And I'm not going to slack on what my expectations are of you as students. Uh, because I want you to be the friggin' best engineers in the world. So I'm not going to sit back and say uh, that you're not, you know, you don't have to work as hard. I'm going to do everything I can to make this class rigorous. Um, I've taught hard classes. All of you have had me in hard classes before. Every one of you remembers EGR 325. Uh, do I feel bad about the fact that I'm about to put you through a rigorous class? No. Um, this one is going to be tough. It's going to rely on a lot of materials we covered in statics. It's going to cover on a lot of materials that we covered uh, in mechanics and materials. Uh, this course is cumulative and it builds off of prior course knowledge. And I am, I, I know what you learned in those classes. I helped develop materials for mechanics and material. Um, so I am not exactly going to be sitting back and uh, saying that you ex that I expect you to know nothing. Uh, you guys are juniors and seniors. You have to be a junior or senior to be in this class. This is an upper class level course uh, where you are expected to be a professional engineer. Um, none of you have gotten this far so far in your lives uh, with just simply coasting to this point. Um, so with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover course material. Uh, what are we going to be doing in the syllabus? So switch to my desktop view. Um, here's the syllabus for this class. I haven't posted on the canvas yet because I am a technological noob and uh, I <laughs> still haven't figured out how to use the dang thing. Um, here's my office hours. Uh, I'm going to adjust these because I do have uh, some meetings that I have to attend, um, some work that I have to do, and I'm going to have to block out some time, so I will, these, these are tentative for right now, uh, I'll try to fix these before I uh, really get my hands wet and, and post these on Canvas. Um, this textbook, Mechanical Engineering Design uh, by Boudinus and Nisbet. Nisbet uh, Shigley's textbook. This is one of my favorite textbooks of all time. Um, it has extensive tables in the back and it has formulas for everything. Um, some of these formulas I have had a hard time finding online. Uh, and this is just, I, this is my favorite reference material of all of my engineering years. Uh, you know, I mean, all of you know I'm a big fan of looking stuff up on, you, on, on the internet. Uh, there's a wealth of information on there, especially for engineers. Uh, but this right here, I trust wholeheartedly, and it has materials that are very difficult to find. Um, so I do suggest buying this textbook right away. You can sleep with it under your pillow like I do every night. Um, now, this course has a lot of different pieces to it. Uh, in a traditional mechanical engineering curriculum, machine design ultimately covers anywhere from uh, two to four classes. Uh, it covers anything from advanced stress analysis, solid state mechanics, uh, to what ends up being kinematics, machine kinematics, uh, machine dynamics, uh, machine analysis. They may have a lab course involved in it. Uh, but this here is just one class. Um, now, I, I've had to tweak the material significantly to try to make it into one class, 
Uh, I don't regret that. Um, some of the stuff that is taught in a typical machine design class is kind of unnecessary. Uh, we're going to focus on what is necessary and what is needed here. Um, my goal for this class is not to have this course uh, be something that you forget. I want this to be a staple of you as a mechanical engineer moving forward. Um, so there's some boring stuff. Uh, basically, this course falls down to four main objectives. First of all, you have to understand what failure is. Okay, um, I, you all know I love making failure jokes. Uh, failure is, it, it's, there's a lot of terms in this class um, that you're going to know well, but you, that you have to understand the technical definition of. When a component or a machine fails, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about calculating component failure, component failure, machine failure, uh, based on stresses. How do you know when something is, is failing? Uh, how do you expect, how do you anticipate that? Uh, because this is a design class, we have to know what our fa failure conditions are so that we can anticipate those conditions and design accordingly and tell people, okay, I expect that this component won't fail for 10,000 cycles, 40,000 cycles. You can use... Uh, you can use this shaft infinite amount of times, it will never fail. Uh, because I know what the loading conditions are going to be, and I expect that there will be no failure under these loading conditions. Um, yes, that does involve a lot of assumptions. And yes, as a mechanical engineer, you're going to have to make a lot of assumptions. You make designs, you're going to have to pick things. How do you do all of that? Uh, well, that's what this course is. Um, when you go to design components, there's a lot of selection involved. Okay, standardized components exist. Uh, one of the things we're going to do in lab this week is, is we're actually going to sit down and design a bolt. Okay, how do you, how do, you do that? Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, last, design simple machines to accommodate multiple design parameters. Uh, understanding the fundamentals of what design is. We've talked about design. We've talked about functional requirements. We've talked about uh, design constraints. We've talked about measures of quality. All of those things fit into this course. And on top of that, you have to do a lot of math. So uh, it's, it is a very cumulative course. Uh, this is the sum of your curriculum that you have learned towards in mechanical engineering. At least that's my goal. Uh, now we are going to be teaching this in a hybrid course. What that means is I'm going to be posting videos on YouTube. Uh, now you're only going to see me in person once a week which means I may post one or two lecture videos online a week, uh, depending on how it goes. Uh, I am definitely going to be posting videos on Monday during our class time, uh, and I may be posting additional content if I feel like it's necessary for us to continue through the class. Uh, I don't get to see you face-to-face, -face, so a lot of this gets to be really jam-packed into something, so I'm, I'm going to try not to have hour-and-a-half-long videos. Uh, that's my goal, uh, but you got to bear with me. This is not the best modality in which to learn, and particularly not a difficult class like this, uh, but we all got to be a little flexible here. I'm going to do my best. I need you to at least put in an effort. If this isn't working, let me know. We'll switch it up. I'm always a fan of being flexible. Uh, my goal here is to teach you for you to learn, not so that I get some kind of feeling of accomplishment having barfed information at you. Okay? Um, we're not going to have a test in this class. I hate tests. All of you know that I hate tests. There's a ton of material for this class. Um, in a replacement of tests, though, I will be giving you weekly quizzes. Uh, in the past, I expected those quizzes to be done in class. Uh, now I am going to be giving you those quizzes, and I expect you to do them outside of class. Uh, I'm not going to be giving you a quiz this week, but my goal is that I'm going to post a quiz on Tuesday. And if you don't know how to do that quiz, then you will talk to me, ask me questions on Wednesday or Friday when, when you have that. And the quiz, the quiz will be due then again the following Tuesday. Um, so it will be one of your weekly assignments. Um, I am going to do my best to try to post homework assignments, reading assignments uh, on Tuesdays again. Uh, now, one thing that I think stands out noticeably over here is we do have a semester-long construction and analysis project. We're going to be building something. Um, it's gonna. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, we never promise pretty here, 
but it is going to be something and it's going to involve a lot of the aspects of this course if you don't understand how to build machines you don't understand machine design I didn't know how to build machines when I took my four course regimen when I was in college uh, and they failed me I got an A in all of those classes but I did not understand how to build machines uh, I will not let you get out of this class in that same condition um, most of this class will be your project so uh, that's it I will be giving you some homework some design problems I may say do this step up here pick this get here um, that's great and all um, okay just making sure that the live stream is working fine um, that's all fun and dandy it's wonderful um, it will happen when it happens uh, I am teaching this in a different modality and in a different style than I did last time um, so a lot of this is new for me I'm trying to get into a groove I'm still learning as a professor this is only my fourth year um, I'm still pretty novice good professor learns throughout their entire tenure and I'm continuing to adapt and trying to get better at this myself um, okay we have a lot of information to cover and this uh, this goes quickly uh, chapter one is this course introduction again I'm gonna post another video uh, either tomorrow or on Thursday or Friday uh, covering a little bit more about chapter one this is just going to be an introductory video um, so again I apologize for splitting this up but trying to keep these videos shorter and, and trying to uh, be conscientious of the fact that I know you have a limited time too. Uh, we're gonna be covering load and stress analysis week three that is where the class gets harder um, and we're gonna kind of breeze through it uh, we're gonna have to make sure that all of you either have access to SolidWorks uh, that we have SOLIDWORKS on our computers here uh, you can come in and use um, I will probably at least pair you up with somebody who has SOLIDWORKS on their computer um, but we're going to be using SOLIDWORKS a lot in this course uh, I will need to send everybody out the download information for SOLIDWORKS um, but quite frankly SOLIDWORKS gives us the ability to analyze the way that our machines work not just components but also machines uh, we'll need to discuss that. So, uh, having having SolidWorks as a component is going to simplify the coursework. Now, I do expect you to still understand the math. I expect you to perform the math. So, there will be quizzes, and yes, there will be design problems, and yes, there will be homework problems. Uh, there's going to be a lot of work to this class. A lot of lot of work. Um, and uh, we're gonna. I'm going to be giving you tasks uh, in accordance with your project, uh, hopefully beginning uh, well, sometime in the near future. I will assign you the project, I'm going to give you some due dates, and I'm going to try to be flexible about how it happens. Uh, I want a lot of that work to be done on the project to be done in the physical in-person class that we have uh, either Wednesday or Friday. I want that to be a lot more hands-on. Uh, so that's that's kind of how I'm gearing this class. It kind of makes this class like, it's almost like an online class with a lab section. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. So again, if this falls apart and we need to do something different, so be it. I'm flexible. Um, but I do want this project to be completed and I will do my best to deliver you the material for this course. Uh, if you have any questions with how this class is going to go, please talk to me, uh, please email me, we can set up a Zoom meeting, we can set up an in-person meeting. Um, yeah, but otherwise, uh, welcome to Machine Design, and uh, thank you for your time. I really hope that worked.